Hey guys, and welcome back. So the last pour we did was on a bowl. Um, it's going to be like a change bowl and a, a bowl where Bill can put his keys and stuff. Um, so it's a gift for him. And this is a vase. Um, it's just your standard vase from the Dollar Tree. Um, ours finally started carrying these instead of those little ones that wouldn't fit on the cups. We're going to use the same cup. There's a little bit of paint left in it. And we're going to do pretty much the same color scheme. I may add a little bit of orange to it. I'm not sure. But I did like the way that the blue, green, and yellow worked together. So we're going to focus on that and see how it goes. So I'm just going to use the same cup. And... Start putting paint in. Oh, it's not see through anymore, so. Because I want to do it layers like I did the last one, since I'm going to do a tree ring. I think the layers would be, you know, pretty smart. It worked out last time pretty well. I think I put one layer of orange after I put all three of these colors. I think I'll do one layer of orange and then do these three again. That way the orange is just very minimal but it's still liquid. And for those who didn't watch the last video, these are the Liquitex Basics Fluorescents. And they're mixed with Floetrol and paint only. No water. No silicone. Just Floetrol and paint. Okay, that's the last of the orange I'm going to use. And I want to go right back into these colors. I may have a little extra paint by the time I add these colors, um, but that's okay because we are creating some skins down here for a couple projects I have planned out that I want to do. I haven't done any fluorescent jewelry yet, so I purposefully wanted some fluorescent skins. Now we are ready. Use the same little spot that I tilted last time. And we're just going to start off with a normal tree ring. And then once it starts going over the sides, we're going to do a traveling tree ring just to make sure that we cover everything. That little bit of orange looks like it's going to be awesome in there. Somehow the orange is staying like as the last thing coming out when it was like in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of grab a spot that doesn't have any paint on it and try to turn it around. I think everything else got covered. I'm just going to help it in these spots because there's plenty of paint still running. And then if I have to, I'll add a little more paint. Just to help it pour down. There we go. And that should finish it. Let's just twirl it around real quick and make sure. That it's covered everywhere. And it is. So there we go. Now I'm going to wipe my hands off. And 
and we're gonna let it keep flowing but I'm as soon as I wipe my hands off I'll take you guys down so that you guys can watch it flow as we do kind of a close-up to see kind of what it looks like now I do want to mention the reason I use the fluorescence on this vase is because all of them except for the blue are transparent or semi-transparent and the blue is opaque so the goal is if these are going to dry transparent and you're going to almost be able to see through the vase but still have the color and that's what I'm going for if it works These colors are much more vibrant than you are seeing. Plus this will be gorgeous under the black light. I think it'll just be stunning under the black light love that so what do you guys think I'm trying to hold it without <laughs> let me know what you think in the description or I keep saying description sorry guys let me know what you think in the comments below um, if you like it or if you have a certain color combination you'd like to see me do I will pick up some more vases next week so if you want to see a certain color combination on a vase or something, just feel free to let me know and let me know what you think. And I'll see you again on the next pour.